Hey everyone, welcome back on my channel. Today's video is going to be a tutorial using the new Kat Von D Shade in Light palette. So I created this look. I tried using as many uh, products that I have from Kat Von D, so the blush, the lipstick. That's pretty much all I had, so I still thought it's going to be fun. It's not really a one brand tutorial, but let's just get right into it. I'm going to start by using my Too Faced and Over uh, Face Primer. This one is a moisturizing primer. It smells like coconut. I'm not the biggest fan of the scent, but it seemed to be good. I only used it a few times, but my skin really needs it, as you can probably tell. I've been having a reaction. I've been starting to use, again, my Leo Lee Baby Cream, and I think it's expired. There was, like, literally probably one more use left, but I'm not going to use it because clearly my skin is not happy with it. I love it, but I've been keeping it... You know when you do that? You keep your foundation for like the good days and you just don't finish it. Never doing that again. For my foundation, I'm going to use the Bourjois LT Mix Foundation. This is the color 51, I believe, which is vanilla. It's a little bit yellow for me, but we're going to go with it. I'm using my Beauty Blender because I love using this. It just makes it look more natural. Although this foundation is really natural by itself. Might need a bit more coverage or have redness, but... By the way, if you've never smelled that foundation, it smells like fruits, which who doesn't want their foundation to smell like fruits? You know, some of them smell like paint. Nope, this one smells like fruits. It has to be good for you, right? <laughs> I really wanted to do a tutorial using the new Kat Von D eyeshadow palette because they look amazing. And then I realized why not use every single product from Kat Von D I have. So that's what we're going to do today. I'm going to try using a few of my newer product that I got recently. And I'm going to use as many Kat Von D products as I can. By the way, I'm hoping the lighting is going to be okay because the other day my one of my soft box decided to explode. That was fun. So I'm hoping it's going to be okay because, yeah, it seems to be. And then my eyes, I'm going to use my NARS uh, Creamy Concealer. This is the shade Vanilla once again. I only use it a few times and I'm not sure how I feel about it yet. I feel like it is really full coverage and super thick and the color matches me really well right now but I'm not sure it works if it works well or not on my dry skin I feel like it could be a little bit better it is like so thick so on camera it's gonna look flawless like I understand why people on YouTube love it, it really makes you feel and look like you have no more see my under eyes look amazing but in real life if you have dry skin I feel like it emphasizes it a little bit too much if you have pictures and stuff, you need to look really full coverage and perfect from a little bit further away. This will work for sure. I'm going to quickly do my brows and I'm going to zoom you in so we can do the eye makeup. So I'm applying the color citrate all over my lid. Then I'm just going to blend it a little bit. Then I'm going to go back and reapply the dark brown just because it lost a little bit of the intensity. Again, I'm going to just blend it out. Then just to make it a little bit warmer, I'm going to use a little bit of the reddish color in the crease. Instead of using liner, I'm just going to use a little bit of the black on a eyeliner brush and I'm just going to pat it into my lashes and I'm going to blend it a little bit upward. It doesn't have to be perfect because then I'm going to apply uh, false eyelashes in a bit. On my lower lash line, I'm just going to add a little bit of the lighter brown. I'm going to apply a little bit of the Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara. I have smaller eyes, so I'm not going to apply any uh, black eyeliner in my waterline, but if you have bigger eyes, I suggest doing it. It will just look a little bit more smoky. Now I'm just going to apply some falsies. I believe these are the Kiss number 10, which I've been wearing a lot lately, and I really like them. So I received a package, so I'm going to have to start again with the uh, false eyelashes because the glue dried out because I couldn't wait, and I opened it. But you're going to see that really soon in a video. <laughs> I feel like every time I'm filming, there's a guy that comes at my door with a package. I should film every day. <laughs> just to make sure they blend in with my uh, eyes, I'm just going to apply a little bit of a 
black eyeliner. This one is the Buxom one. I don't have one from uh, Kat Von D, so. Contour, I'm just going to use my MAC Taupe blush. I'm not going to apply too much on my cheeks just because I'm still having a rash and I don't want to make it worse. Same time, I feel kind of blind. Blame. <laughs> Same time, I still feel a little pale because of uh, the dark eyeshadow. I always feel like it washes me out. Fine, I'm going to apply a little bit of bronzer. I'm going to use my uh, Tarte Avenue Princess bronzer and I'm going to apply it. All my brushes are dirty, I'm doing that tonight. So I'm gonna apply this with a big fluff, fluff, with a big fluffy brush from Morphe. This is the S19. I'm just gonna give myself a little bit of warmth. Every time I apply bronzer right there, I feel like all my baby hair go crazy. Do you do your hair before or after doing your makeup? Because right now I didn't do it, I'm going to do it right after, but what do you do? Hair or makeup first? For my blush, I'm going to use the Kat Von D blush in the color Truth, which is a beautiful like mauve on the pan, but on me it's a little bit more of a reddish, almost orangey warm color. But again, my cheeks are already pretty red, so... Eh. Wow, you can really see my, my rash right now. It's coming out. No! What do you use whenever you have a rash or redness on your cheeks? Because I'm usually pretty good, but I did not expect to have this today, and I feel like it won't disappear. For my lips, I don't really have a neutral color from them, so I'm going to use this color. This is the Everlasting Liquid Lipstick in Lolita. But because it's a bit brown on me, I'm going to use a little bit of Max Sore Lip Liner just underneath. Did I forget something? Highlight. Didn't apply any highlighter, so I'm gonna apply a little bit. I'm gonna use the uh, NYX contour kit. I'm gonna use my favorite color right here. I'm gonna apply it with the Real Technique contour brush. I don't want to go with a really shimmery uh, highlight just because my cheeks are still, you know, I don't wanna attract too much attention. Says the girl that's wearing a lot of blush. So it's actually the rash, not my blush. Whatever. So this is the final look. If I zoom you in, you can see. So hopefully you can see. So that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up if you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe if it's not already done. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.